Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Never let it be said that I come with too much baggage. However, I'll make an exception for that today. Stay tuned after the sting and I shall tell you exactly what I've just got my hands on. So today I have the luxury of my camera operator son, Zach, which is fantastic because now I can demonstrate with two hands rather than trying to do everything single-handedly. What I have here, folks, is the Iron G Haas latest range of motorcycle bags. I don't know if you remember last year, I reviewed, in fact, here's one I have earlier. Uh, I reviewed this bag last year, which was that 50 litre bag. Now I've used it half a dozen times, um, not that much in fairness. However, this is the important part. Every time I've used this bag, because I live in Ireland, it has rained. And this is what I love so much about this bag. The fact that it's utterly and completely waterproof. So I reached out to the company again, because I saw that they have new bags out. Pretty much the same range. They've made a few uh, different alterations like there's more sort of uh, uh, tie down straps luggage straps uh, comes in different sizes comes in different colors if you check out their website inghas.com you shall see all the different sizes and different ranges so the bag I had last year was the 50 liter um, which is ideal for a sort of everyday bag slightly on the larger side for what I wanted so this is the 30 liter that they've just come out with look at this little touch as well I think this is great the company very kindly uh, printed these removable logos up for me, which I think is uh, a nice little touch. I'm sure if you check their website out, uh, I'll send them a note, I think it is, in the cart at the bottom. You can send your JPEG if you did want a company logo like that. Um, but, so, st still the same roll top. Now, I'm not going to take these out on a bike uh, and demo them, because I've done that already with the original one. So, what I will tell you about is uh, uh, the differences here. So as you can see here, I did a thorough waterproof test with Zach and our dog Charlie on the 50 litre bag. So I have no doubt it's still the same uh, on these latest bags. So what we have, again, roll top again for waterproofing. They, re they do recommend rolling these over three times, but obviously that's going to depend how much equipment you have within inside the bag. The reason I wanted the well, I'll start with the first one since I'm holding this one. Um, like, for instance, last week I went down to my accountants in Dublin on a motorbike, an hour and a half away, put all my paperwork receipts in here. And in there you can see, I don't know if you can get inside there, Zach, as well. You have um, another sort of li little pocket in there just for those really important things that you want to keep separate or safe and that you don't want them uh, getting mi mixed up with everything else. I don't know how well you can see in. Uh, it comes with four tie-down straps for, well, just about any motorbike. One thing I love, well, not one thing, uh, one of the other things I love about this is that even last week when I was only carrying paper and receipts in here, you can fold it up, strap it down, and then squeeze all of the air out using, where is it? There you go. Using the hose on the side. I'm saying hose, it's a vent. So you can let all of the air out, squeeze it down, probably heard that there, that, was, that wasn't me giving off steam. Uh, let all of the surplus air out, lock that up, and it stays compacted to the size and the shape of whatever you have in uh, the bag at the time. And then, of course, you can take all of the straps off if you don't need them, that's a shoulder strap. Um, but I, I just love how you can mold the bag into as big or as small as you need it. Um, isn't it amazing when you're trying to take a strap off a bag and there's a camera filming you, and so you can't do it, of course. Did it in the end. So, so that's that one. And again, comes in a load of different color, si colors and sizes and shapes. And that's an exterior pocket as well. Um, I would have thought it's very useful to put things like the shoulder strap in there, just so you don't lose it. I'm forever doing that with. I love motorcycle bags. You know, like a lady would like a handbag. I love motorcycle bags and I can't have enough of them. But I've never really found something until these, which will go on every bike um, and that you can get them in pretty much nearly every color to suit your bike as well. And the whole idea of all of the air shrinking out of them, I just love. And then the fact that they're waterproof as well. Brilliant. So I'll show you very quickly the 70 litre one as well. Exactly the same design, the same concept, just bigger uh, and a bigger inner pocket as well. I mean, you could probably get a, 
a small laptop in there. Um, but the reason I bought this one, haha, -ha, see, always thinking ahead. So when I was at the ABR festival over in England at the summer, this is my inflatable mattress, by the way, which came off the bike when I got back a few uh, weeks ago. When I arrived at the ABR festival with my inflatable mattress in my bin bags, the lads took the unmerciful Michael out of me. And I thought, okay, yeah, and I need to look the part a little bit more. I can't be rocking up at a biker festival with me bin bags on the back of the bike. So that's why I started looking around. So I went straight to ING Haas and saw that they're now doing this. Guess what? Now, if I can't take a strap off the bag, I'm hardly going to be able to do this. Oh, so far, so good, Zach. Zach Zach's helped me there. It's actually, it's, this is the 70 litre bag. I think we're all good, look at this. The 70 litre bag fits my inflatable mattress. My tent is actually smaller than this. Um, so that's why I've used the biggest thing I have for the camping. So I could easily get my tent in here. Look at that, that that's incredible. So now when I rock up at a bike car festival, I look the part and everything would be dry because even my bin bags let rain in because uh, obviously they get ripped in the wind and whatever else. The, these things will just keep everything bone dry. And dare I say it, I think it looks bloody amazing. I really think they're fantastic. So even when Zach here wants to go off with his mates camping for a weekend, he could fill this with bottles of beer and uh, he'd have a great weekend. So there you go, folks. That's pretty much all I need to say about this because these bags, they sell themselves. Oh, the very last thing I need to say is that, of course, the company ING has have given me a discount code for you. Now, with a lot of these um, sort of online companies, they're forever having discounts and different offers as well. But with my code here, WGTV10, in case you haven't figured it out, it stands for Wheelie Good TV 10, 10% discount. Imagine that. Um, so even though they have offers on at the time, different offers, you'll still get another 10% discount off whatever they're offering on their website. That's pretty much it. Can't say enough good things about these. Uh, they're hardware and waterproof, stylish, designer, just like myself. Thanks a million for tuning in, folks. Dave Perry, Wheelie Good TV, over and out.